experiencing down south. Now our precipitation a lot lighter yes. uh, for the afternoon hours and we are looking at maybe some more rain tomorrow. A little bit of that could be heavy in the morning. Here's the radar and you can see those showers that have taken over throughout the morning and into a, our early afternoon. Out in southeastern Mass, not nearly as much rain. They're saying what rain for most of the morning. They're just starting to see a little shower activity come on through. Here's a look at Providence. We've got some rain falling. Notice the skyline looking a little fuzzy there. Temperature got up to 62. Winds from the south at about 8 miles an hour. We still got some rain falling here in Newport as well. Temperature a little cooler, 57 with a wind from the south at 6 miles an hour. Up in Taunton, where we've had sunshine for a good portion of the day, 72. Looks like a great afternoon there. A threat tracker for today remains low. It's just some more nuisance rain showers in the afternoon. It actually might get a little bit drier toward evening before more rain makes a, a, a return during the uh, evening hours. Now on Thursday, we are looking at some off and on showers, a lot of clouds around and and cooler as well. Friday, a lot better. Looking at this rain working on through the region right now. It's all associated with this area of low pressure out here uh, near the Chesapeake Bay. This is going to slowly kind of work its way on off to the uh, east and northeast next 12, 24 hours. So we're looking at this rain this afternoon. And notice as we go into late afternoon, there might be a period of dry weather. And, but we're also going to be watching this area of rain, which will likely kind of work its way back into the region. So any outdoor uh, activities, maybe some uh, high school sports, middle school sports, little league games, something like that might be okay during the uh, evening hours, but we'll see more rain arrived later tonight, maybe even a rumble of thunder and some of that heavier rain could still be around first thing tomorrow morning. Now this is tomorrow afternoon. We're still looking at rain showers working through the area and with the northeasterly wind and be tough to warm up, likely only in the low 60s. Friday's looking better though. We've got sunshine mixing with some clouds. For forecast for the rest of the afternoon looking at high temperatures mid to upper 60s of course that's only where the sun has come out along the coastline especially likely upper 50s to around 60 with occasional showers at least for the next few hours again maybe drying out a little bit later in the afternoon for tonight down around 56 degrees with showers likely some of which could be heavy and the widespread rain likely returning again after about uh, 9 p.m. or so. Maybe a rumble of thunder overnight for tomorrow. Looking at a cool day, about 60 degrees with occasional rain showers. Winds from the northeast 5 to 15 miles an hour. Tough to warm up when you got clouds and a northeasterly wind like that and the rain. Here's your seven day forecast. Yeah, Friday's much better. About 70 degrees with that blend of clouds and sun. Partly sunny on Saturday. I think it's going to be a dry day. On Sunday, there could be a shower, but generally dry, a little cooler, about 63 degrees. So showers for the afternoon. All right, thanks, TJ. New tonight coming up on 12 News at 4. Set to learn later today about several people arrested in an alleged mail theft ring involving the main Providence Central Post Office. Then at 5, digging into a survey across multiple local businesses and what they say left an effect on their bottom lines, thanks to the Washington Bridge breakdown. Then at 6, Following up on the fallout after dozens of Providence teachers learn they are going to be laid off this year. Join us for the coverage you can count on tonight starting on 12 News Now at 4 o'clock. Still ahead, it's a new way to...